At this time, I will take public comments on agenda items from other members of the audience. Please step to the podium and give your name and address. Good evening, my name is Byron Williams and I am the local branch president for the NAACP. I did not sign up to make uh, a statement, it was not an intent to initially make a statement, but I do stand as president of the local branch, as a representative of, of the NAACP, to simply state <coughs> that the NAACP is not taking a position at this point because the information we received, though accurate, is very skimming and very generic. There are no finalities in terms of what we've heard. Uh, we've basically heard information which many people in the general public are already aware of and have been for at least a few decades. Uh, we are waiting until uh, more substantial actions are taken, not simply by the report, but basically by the report, by the board itself. Uh, we cannot take positions on items that have not had action taken on. Uh, that would not be sensible or logical. And so I simply want to encourage the board once again to stay the course in terms of this issue and create a benchmark in the city of Newburgh that can show the brightness and the beauty of our district rather than the ugliness of a simple issue that seems to have become so complex over a course of time. No issue is larger than we are. And no issue exists that we cannot resolve if we work together and make a difference. And I believe that this is a test for us and that we can very well pass it. So I simply wanted to make those statements on behalf of the NAACP and also to, to make it known that we have met with representatives of the school board and we have looked beyond the simple figures we've seen today that's been presented in terms of uh, ethnicities and where they stand, uh, as was mentioned by uh, the spokesperson immediately before me. Those issues are being looked at. It's obvious that there is a lot of work that has to be done, and it's obvious that we must be very creative. If 29% of our student body are African Americans and 8% is at the curriculum instructional level, uh, those numbers are self-explanatory to everybody in this room. Obviously, something has to happen, and we are hopeful that something constructive and positive will happen. So I simply wanted to just take this moment to share uh, that we are here, we are seeking to work together to make a difference, and we have the confidence and the assurance that this issue will be resolved, that resolution will be arrived at, and the end result will be for the good of the district and for the good of Newburgh. Thank you, Reverend Williams, for your comments have been supported by George my name is Regina Lewis, and if you're anybody, you know who I am. Not to be disrespectful, but if what Mr. Byron Williams says is true, then the latest social and economic research wouldn't, wouldn't say something quite different. According to Michael Sussman, and anyone truly on top of their game, African Americans are doing worse socially and economically than we had been 150 years ago. I'm not going to go into it because we see African Americans with these jobs and we feel that we've come somewhere. I want to ask a question, are the parents of the four basketball players who didn't graduate here tonight? Friends, family, siblings, anyone? That's what I thought. Uh, the other issue that I have is that African Americans in 2011 are still brown nosing. They're just filling a minority position. They don't even, they're not even able to do anything with the position and that's where we need to start. Stop filling a minority quota. Don't even take the position because you give us a false hope. Thank you, Ms. Lewis. Your 
comments have been recorded by the board clerk. Good evening. My name is Bob Colotta. I'm from New Windsor. Following up on Mr. Shaw's uh, brief presentation, I just have a few questions. If you can answer, fine. Otherwise, uh, there would be questions I would like answers to later or clarification. If I heard you correctly, you said there were other affected students. Are there other student athletes who have failed to graduate or are in similar positions as the four we incurred? Can you answer that? Um, my public statement indicated that there may be other affected students. The purpose was to be very inclusive in the outreach to students. There is an issue of a systemic failure, and that, that's why we felt it would be appropriate to outreach that way, not necessarily knowing the full extent of it. It's, it's a huge undertaking to start to look at the statistics on this and to determine what would be the cut score of at what point someone had been affected by the uh, recordation of absences in a manner inconsistent with the system. Have any family members or students themselves come forward yeah. to claim that they too were shortchanged? I don't have that information. Okay. Uh, who is going to bear the cost of all of this extra mentoring, tutoring, and catching up or not just these four or any others that come forward. Where's that money coming from? Those, those uh, are you referring to the list that I read off? Yes. Okay. Those, those uh, strategies have been in place as part of our program that we deliver on a regular, annual, yearly, monthly, daily basis to all students in need. Thank you. Um, one of the uh, points made by some people have been that the failure of the parents to follow up. Um, whether your system was working properly or not, evidently it still came up with an unusually large number of absences, excused or otherwise. Have you thought about changing any of your administrative practices of notifying parents that their child now has reached a certain point, 10 absences in a month, 20 absences in a quarter, where you're going to get on top of the parents. And whether they like it or not, you're going to hold them accountable to their end of the deal of getting their kids to school. Yes. And as far as the discipline act, uh, action against any personnel, I understand your point of view very well. Um, is there a timeline in which you would report back to the public or will there be monthly or quarterly reports as to where you are in that uh, timeline? The, the expectation that the report to the board that um, may lead to disciplinary proceedings would be in the very near future. Weeks, not months. Thank you. And one more comment on the presentation by the esteemed uh, administrators and your consultant. Um, and, the, and, and it comes down to this. Uh, three years ago, I, I kind of presented a question to the board about the failing scores, and I was told adamantly those scores are improving, you'll see great results, we're turning in time. And here we are three years later, and <clears throat> statistics don't show otherwise. And my question now again is, how will we know this great effort is working? Okay. I'm not expecting an actual answer of a date and time, but I would, I would congratulate you on presenting this. This is a breath of fresh air relative to other meetings I've been to. This is well worth your hour and a half of presentation. I wish and I hope that month to month you follow this up with regular reports or quarterly, whatever works, but please do not, let's not wait three more years. Thank you. Comments have been recorded by the board clerk. Dick Peterson, Nine Breezy Old Drive. I also am a product of this system. And I think this illusion that you present is welcome 
from some quarters, but you dodge a very real issue here, is that the product that you present, as it applies to the African-American athlete of new birth, is sad. Your system is sad. The sadness comes in this with some remarkable statistics on a countywide basis, and I track this through your fall program, your winter program, and now your spring program. Do you realize how many black athletes participate in the Newburgh Free Academy program, and not a single black male athlete has made Orange County academic American, all American? He doesn't have an 80 average. This is sad. There's something remarkably interesting about this. It believes that you have done something to correct a problem that is existing for years and years and years. Uh, I look around, you might even say thank you for this because once we do anything to make sure we get some of these Negro fellows graduating from the bas basketball team, we have done something. You have done nothing. You can't tell me that damn near all that the swimming team, all the male white members of the swimming team are honor athletes. Lacrosse, honor athletes. Track, white boys, out honor athletes. And it's just interesting, you don't see this. You know, we don't think our communities, doctors, lawyers, engineers, and things where your academia and specialized education that includes math and science is important. Now, I'm going to end with this caveat, which is insulting to me. And it was a 1980s joke about African Americans. They said, you want to stop five Negroes from raping a white woman? Holla jump ball. This sickness has to stop. If we top our programs, our entire academic program, as it applies to the African-American male at Newburgh Free Academy on this basketball team, you're a joke and the whole system's a joke. Improve it so we have some leaders of our community, our football players, our basketball players, our track athletes with 80 averages that can get academic scholarships and come back doctors, lawyers, and maybe a damn Indian chief or two. Thank you, Mr. Peterson. I would like to just um, make a comment in reference to some of our students. Um, I had the pleasure of participating in a an evening of scholarship um, awards to our students, and I would like to tell you that there was quite a diverse representation of students that were there that did receive academic scholarships some of which also were student athletes. In addition to that, at our graduation ceremonies um, this past Thursday, our president of the Crenarian Council, which is high academic scholar, happens to be an African American young man. So I would just like to note that the students are there and we try to showcase all of our students whenever possible. I don't want to turn this into debate, but as uh uh, Alfreda commented earlier, uh, we are under constant attack as the whipping child for the Times Tower record. Somebody from your association and your board and your academia needs to notify the Times Tower record of these people because just last week they had your academic all Americans or your uh, honor athletes and they've done this for each uh, section of sport. Not one male. African American, who was an athlete with a varsity letter, was included in none of these statistics. And I agree with you, Mr. Peterson. And we do provide that information to the Times Herald Record, but we do have not have control over what they print. Mr. Peterson, I'd like to add to that. We have the Times Herald Record right here. Pick up your paper tomorrow. It'll be nothing about the awards that we're giving out here tonight. I guarantee you that.